just gonna go right first because this is where the compass is. And a bunch of dog diggers. Yeah. You dig, dog? Okay, there's nothing else in this room besides finding these enemies, so I'm just gonna face off with these blue knight guys. I can't guarantee if I can get through this and get through this entire level 8 without dying, but having to use the potion is more of a possibility than anything else, so... Yep. Okay, looking at my map, it looks like... It looks like a, I need to go... Hold on. Looking at my map, it looks like going left is useless because of because it's just keys and stuff. So I just need to go up. Okay, so let's fight these guys. Get the fairy, get the fairy. Sometimes the fairy can be a major distraction that ends up killing you in a amount of bombs. More fairy. Thank you, fairy. Wish there was a way to make these guys stop without having to pick up a clock. I can go left, but I we don't want to. That's because I don't want you. Okay, we don't have to fight these enemies since it's locked doors. Meanwhile, in this room, there's a guy up above, or a wise guy up above. We don't need to go down, it's more than not necessary. Yeah. yeah, so... Almost like how that boss where we have to use the flute to actually divide it, where it actually split from, like, instead of one, it split into three. Um, Gamma, in this, we have to defeat at least a few times. It's almost like how Dudongo, there was only one as a boss, but then there's like rooms where there's three of them you have to defeat. So up here, I think it's just a wise guy, so I'm wasting my time. Yes, the Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. This gives you the clue on where level 8 is level 8, or no, the final level is level 9, which is pretty much the level you have to go to afterwards, after you collect all Triforce pieces, but, you know, it's actually difficult finding the level, you kinda, you kinda have to use, like, you know, sources to help you find that place. Actually, I actually found it alone, without using sources, which is pretty amazing. So, go up without facing any enemies. Hopefully I can still use my sword. Uh, can I go up? Yeah, okay, so to my right, A leads me towards the boss, so I don't want to go that way. Yeah, so to the right leads me to the boss, going up leads me to the second item, which is the number one item I really want. Except I need a bomb! Dang it! Okay, so I'm gonna have to fight these enemies until I get a bomb or something. Give me a bomb, guys. I'm gonna have to proceed on to the right. Actually, if I defeat all the enemies in here, they actually give me a bomb. Wait, except I can't go back. Oh, no way, I think I have to defeat all of them in order to go back. There we go, I actually got a bomb. <clears throat> and 
and there's a bomb, and then I actually get eight. So yeah, I actually get four bombs, so if I were to defeat three Dudongos needing to, just to get a bomb, it's kind of a rip-off because you lose two in the process. So yeah, we want to go up before going right. And then we face off with this enemy again, and if we beat it, we get a map. There we go. So here's our map. Is there anything in the eye? Yeah. Over here... ...is nothing other than a bunch of rubies. Okay, is it worth going up? The answer to that is no, however... No. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Actually, you know what? Screw it, I can waste the key. The reason why is because I'll have a remainder key remaining before I get the magical key. Now you're probably wondering what the hell is the magical key? What does the magical key do? Well, it's the best key that you'll ever get in the game. You wish that you had it in almost every Zelda game. Whoa, I need a potion. That was close. Okay, so I want to go right. And by going right, that will lead me to where the second item is. But of course, I have to defeat a lot of enemies in the process, so I have no more potions, so... <sighs> Help me, bombs. Shoot, and I have to face those bunny-like rabbit thingies. Dig doggers. Actually, I can actually face them off with my sword by the looks of it. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. I, whoa, that was actually really easy. Wow, things get easier when you can shoot beams out of your sword. So what does this key do? Well, if you look at where it says A, I don't know if that A means infinity, but basically what A is, that means I permanently have infinity keys, which means I don't need to pick up another key again. Pretty amazing, huh? Now I'm just gonna pause it and see if it's worth going up. Okay, so by the looks of it, if I go up, then I just have to defeat a bunch of red knight enemies to get bombs, so... I say screw it, go down, go right, go to, um, warp A, and then face the boss. So here's the origin room, so I may have to face these guys again. Joy to the world, I hate these guys. Why does life have to suck? And why am I parodying a Christmas song? I don't know. Anyway. I hate it when I sing in my Let's Plays because I always don't sound good. But hey, every time I do it, I actually sound not that bad. Wait, I have bombs. Use them. Shit, I'm dying. I think I remember the fairies kept on coming out of these guys. Hopefully that happens again. Wow, my wish came true. Don't stop believing. Okay, I, I, I timed that wrong. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. And then you'll get the, the fairy and all that everything you want. So just don't stop believing. So just hold on to that feeling and you'll get the fairy, yeah. Street lights, people, this is going off topic. Wow, three hits and these guys are dead. 
But yeah, these enemies are very annoying. Okay, so just looking at my map, if I go... Uh, there's two ways I can go. I can defeat those enemies, go right, and then there's a bunch of annoying Red Knight enemies where I get a key and whatever. And then basically there's a wise guy to the top left corner where it says 10th enemy has a bomb, but screw that. If I just go plane up, it'll lead me to the boss. So I'm just going to go straight to the boss and finish this. Let's hope I can finish it. Shoot, it's four heads. It's four heads. No! <laughs> Why? Why do you have to do this? I have a life, you know. But I'm not gonna let that thing bother me, so... I have a strategy. I'm basically gonna get a second potion, fill up my hearts at that fairy fountain, return to level 8, and then just go straight to the boss and finish that level once and for all. I have a plan, and I'm just gonna go do it. And I can do it without commentating, so you guys can do your own commentary. So if you've been insulted by your idol saying, write your fanfiction somewhere else, kids, then there you go. Here's your opportunity. Okay, I suppose there's no such thing as a Let's Play without a commentator. Maybe there is, but hey, if there's no commentator, then it's not really that entertaining because you like hearing his or her frustration, you know? So, let's proceed on. Great, I still have that Don't Stop Believing song in my head. Alright, here's my entrance to... Well, not my entrance, but here's the entrance to level 8. So, pretty simple strategy. Just go up to the room where you see those, uh two things trying to kill you while you're trying to fight the guards, and then blah 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 blah. I'm out of bombs. Save the beams. Now I'm out of the beams. Jeez, I had an inch in my eye. I'm just blinking, hoping that'll work. Okay, it's official. I scratched my eye during the Let's Play, so yeah. If that's a bad thing, then it's official. I did it. Okay, so I want to go right after I defeat these guys. But yeah, this level does have a complicated setup, all because of these knights. They're no fun to kill, let alone face off. Well, pretty much face off is not the fun part. Killing them... Oh my god, just enter in there. I was looking in another direction, that was why. Time to get my rod out. And don't you dare say what I think you're gonna say, you nasty little... Fans who just can't really... You know what, never mind. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Anyway... Up. Go up, 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 up. Good thing I have a second potion to actually help me fight this dragon. 
so I'll have it out just in case. And hopefully not press it while I'm fighting. There we go. So I'm just gonna replace that with something else. And guess what? Here we go. It's official. I have all hard containers of the game. Bravo. Why am I the only one clapping from... Okay, never mind. Let's just go up and get the last Triforce piece. Woo! Awesome. I can't really woo so loud, so yeah. So there we go. I got all the Triforce pieces and all heart containers. So that just leaves level 9 now. So there you go, guys. I think I'm going to be ending my session there. But before I do that, I'm just going to get the food and maybe a few bombs before I start proceeding to level 9 in the third and possibly last session. Pretty awesome. And I still don't know if I will do Quest 2. If I do, then I might need a little bit more practice on that. I might do that practice on my 3DS Ambassador um, GIF program thingy. Yeah. Because I'm an ambassador on the Nintendo 3DS, so I got 10 free NES games and 10 free um, Game Boy games. And while the 10 uh, free... Um, the 10 free... Uh, NES games, this game is one of them. Same with um, Zelda 2. Uh, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> That's a funny moment, is that I'm walking and I'm like, where am I supposed to go? I'm a zombie walking around. Okay, so it was get the food, so I have to go to that expensive shop and get a little bit more bombs, and then that's pretty much it. Excuse me. I think this became a very successful session, session, considering that I went through five levels, basically. And considering the last session, I only went through three and then collected every single heart container except for the one that was off the shore on the right side. I say this game, this Let's Play is actually pretty successful, even though I'm not the pro at this game. But hey, I'm better because I have the sheet of the NES maps beside me. But the question is, can I do it without having that? And then, of course, how would you guys know that I don't have it when I'm admitting that I don't have it? If that made sense, yeah. Okay, I still have the magic shield, so that's good. I think this is the cheapest place to buy the food. I know this this place pops up somewhere else, but I don't remember where. I want the blue rain, but I already got the blue rain, so I'll get the food. And it's useless to get a key. The key is just in case if you don't want to go back to the levels and you want to spend 60 rubies. I think it was 60 rubies, if I saw correctly, to actually get um, a key. So there we go. We got food. I don't remember if we need this for level 9, but hey, if I'm going to 100% the game, then why not have every single item in the game, you know? So I think uh, that pretty much uh, sums up um, everything. Pretty much the only things I need is pretty much um, the map and compass and the two items that are remaining in level 6. Defeat Ganon, uh, re retrieve the Triforce of Power, I believe it is. Triforce of Power, because the one we're recovering is the... Triforce of Wisdom, because there is no Triforce of Courage in this game, which is kind of odd, but, you know, they made this game back then. They didn't bring in the Triforce of Courage until the sequel, so, yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to be ending my uh, Let's Play here. Now, in order to end it, I'm going to have to die on purpose. It's the only fastest way to actually... Um, it's the only fastest way to actually at least save. So while Link is dying here... This is fun, don't you think, guys? Wait, didn't I say that I was gonna get some bombs? 
Ah, that was true, but I'll die in the process. Sounds like Link is, like, swallowing every time he gets hit. Okay, so I have half a heart left. Let's see if I can go in here and get at least a bomb. I, th I wonder if this is, like, picking up a normal bomb. Yeah, it is. Alright, so with 23 rubies, I'm ending my session. Rest in peace, Link. Thank you for helping me complete a successful second session of five levels and collecting every single heart container. And yeah. So, I know this is annoying, so I'm just going to save. So that pretty much ends um, this the session for this Let's Play. It actually, I think this became a pretty successful session. I've recorded for an hour and 39 minutes and 25 seconds. 21 seconds. 22 seconds, 23 seconds, okay, whatever. Anyway, this is the end of this session, so the next session, I'm going to be, uh, actually, what was my status on life potion? I don't remember. Okay, I'm on second potion, so that's good. Alright. Alright, guys, so, in the next session, we're going to continue on to level 9, um, get the uh, red rain, get the silver silver arrow, get um, the map and the compass, face off with Ganon, get the Triforce of Power, save Zelda, and then that's pretty much the end of the game. So, I hope you enjoyed this session. I needed something up because I have planned dates when to record Super Mario Sunshine and when to record the mission mode for Sonic Adventure DX. So hopefully this makes up for it. And I'm probably uploading parts of those other two Let's Plays by now. And also, I, ha I have found a co-commentator to continue my Harry Potter Let's Play because I was planning to have a co-commentator. And since I couldn't have the same one I was mentioning before, I have a different one. So yeah, I hope you, have I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And in the next Let's Play, I've said this part so many times, so <laughs> I'm not even going to say it anymore. So, thank you for watching this session, and I'll see you guys in Session 3. Goodbye.